so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. <laughs> Wild swing there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Anderson goes to the clinch here early in the fight. Oh! Huge right hand! News hurt. Throws him up. We'll get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Come on, let's get some knees in there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Back and forth we go! Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice one, two there. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Able to land with the left hand there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Just missing on the uppercut there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Straight right hand, no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. How about that chin? 
Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Just misses with the right. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. 20 seconds to go in round one. Quick entry to get Man, him on a that single. Was a great single oh, take. Oh, Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. This round, we want you to put the pressure on. Get right in his face. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Good stick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. And they separate. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he has landed. Quick level change. Oh, he six. went single. Rotate the head outside. Oh. Oh. Fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Choice has got full mount now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around the block of space, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Throwing that jab, no good. Beautiful takedown with the land. Lands flush with the left hand. 
All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Liver kick. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow. Straight punch lands. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And they separate. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Whiffs on that offer. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses there with the left. Misses on the uppercut there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so... Nice entry into the finish, correct. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Nice hammer fist. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. choi has got the full mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, it's one thing to have a length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Leg kick. Beautiful punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight right, he misses. Fantastic kick down. Good fight here, under two to go. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Choi gets back up. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Oh!